The NFL Draft 2022 is edging closer and closer, and we can't wait to see what picks are made in each round. Like always, the wealth of talent in the draft is getting better and better. Some big names have consistently performed and are ready to take the leap toward the highest level. Today, we take a look at some of the best NFL rookies of 2022. Let's start with Trent McDuffie. Talking about mature players that can be relied on in the field, Trent McDuffie definitely comes to mind. There are a few rookies who can read danger in the form of a play even before it's developed better than McDuffie, and that's a pretty useful insight to have. He's almost always in the right position which gives him a big advantage given his relatively shorter height. McDuffie's very active in run defense and his man coverage ranks very high. At the same time, we like how good his zone coverage is, allowing him to play multiple positions. However, the only thing against him remains is his height. Next up, Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton ranks pretty high on the NFL radar and has been on the scout watch of many teams around the country. At 6'4", Hamilton's got the versatility to do anything he wants. The only thing that's keeping him from breaking into the top five, potentially, is the fact that he plays safety. That's not a position that teams tend to build their squads around, so Hamilton might not be picked in the first round. However, he's got all the tools needed to win the Defensive Rookie of the Year, so he's definitely worth the risk. Now we have Charles Cross. Charles Cross is projected to be in the first 15 picks of the draft, but we think he could comfortably be in the top 10. He's made himself into a dominant pass protector for Mississippi State, and we've got zero doubts that he can translate that on the biggest stage. In the right offense, Cross wouldn't only be good, but he'd be cooking. He's been linked with the Panthers, and given the fact they haven't finalized their left tackle over all these years makes Cross a much more likely pick in the first round. Up next, Drake London. Drake London from the University of Southern California is another extremely bright prospect. He'd be rated much higher if it wasn't for his recovery from his broken ankle last October, and consequently, his decision to not aggravate it any further. That's probably the only concern anyone has over him, and we're sure his pace will increase. The 20-year-old is high on the wish list of the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. However, the likes of Washington Commanders and even the Green Bay Packers are keen on him. And then we have Evan Neal. Standing at at 6'7", the 350-pounder Evan Neal from Alabama is one of the biggest prospects. Literally, he's a mammoth, and we haven't seen many other big players play with the same kind of grace that Neal brings. Neal's got the stats to back up his game, but a lot more important than that is the aura of responsibility and assurance that he brings with himself. There's no drama or controversy. He's serious, mature, and makes everything look easy. His exposition coach believes that Neal will be a starter for 10-plus years at the NFL and will become an All-Pro. We definitely agree with that assessment. Up next, Brees Hall. Brees Hall's productivity has not gone under the radar, and it's even better to see that the stats weren't dependent on the setup, but rather were a result of his individual brilliance. Few players have produced the miles that Hall has in his time at college, and we think that makes him a decent option. He has a chance in the first round, but he's probably a better bet for the second round. Big, fast, and can produce short yards by grinding them out whenever needed. Hall's an attractive option for many teams, in particular, the Seahawks. And now we have Malik Willis. It's true that the quarterback position isn't as stacked as it should be for the draft, but that doesn't mean there aren't any decent options available. If you're talking about an explosive rusher who can mix it together with his dynamic passing, then your best shot is with Malik Willis. Arguably, we'd go as far as to say that he has the highest ceiling, but that also means there's a lot of raw potential and work that needs to be put in. He's been called the biggest boom-bust project, and we gotta agree with that. Things go well, we might be looking at the potential MVP candidate in a few seasons. Next on the list is Garrett Wilson. Talking purely about speed, there's no one more electric than Garrett Wilson, and his ability to generate separation puts him ahead of everyone else in his class. From the slot and outside of both, Wilson has put up impressive percentages on the snaps, and that makes him a top-class prospect. He's got dynamic traits, and his playmaking element elevates him to a very high position in our ranking. We don't know if you see it, but his playing style reminds us of Stefan Diggs. He'd be perfect for the Falcons in the first round, but remains to be seen where he actually goes. And then we have Kaven Thibodeau. One year ago, Kaven Thibodeau was rated as the number one pick, but this year, his stock has fallen. Despite the lesser appeal, it'll be a very smart decision to take a punt on him because Thibodeau is, simply put, fantastic. He can collect sacks, and he's a top-of-the-line pass rusher. His frame is made for that position, and he's got strong, powerful hands with an explosive build. There are some concerns over his mentality, and because of that, he's not high on the priority list of the Giants. But that doesn't mean he can't find another decent move, because he certainly deserves one. Up next is Ika Mekwanu. In college football, it's hard to see anyone being a more powerful offensive lineman than Ika Mekwanu. He can finish run blocks perfectly, give them any run-blocking assignment. He'll smash it, and he's controlled in space thanks to his toughness. He's a superb athlete, and violence along with power are his best traits. However, his hands aren't refined enough, and Iquanu can sometimes fail to protect his outside shoulder well enough. But none of this means he shouldn't be nailed on top 10 pick, and he remains high on the priority list of the New York Giants. And now Derek Stingley Jr. Arguably one of the best talents on display, Derek Stingley Jr. would make a superb addition to any side in the division. He could easily be the best cornerback in the draft, and some even think he might be the best player. Excelling at one-on-one -on -one coverage, he's a brilliant tackler, and has excellent 
excellent hands, six foot one, and the athleticism that can match up with almost any style of the receiver, we rate Stingley very high. He suffered a serious foot injury and only played a handful of games, and that's why he's ranked below Gardner, but based on potential, he could easily be higher. Next is Ahmed Sauce Gardner. As the name suggests, Ahmed Sauce Gardner is an insanely wonderful project, and there's just too much sauce to ignore his potential. Athleticism? Check. Length? Check. Tackling? Check. Sauce? Check and check. We'll even say that he might just be the most exciting prospect, as there aren't many players as fun to watch as this dude. We're not the only ones jumping on the hype train, but he's definitely got everything to back these claims up. Gardner could become the highest selected corner of all time, if he gets that second pick. But that's the thing. Even if he doesn't, most analysts are placing him in the top five, and he'll be in some rare company even with that. And now we have Trayvon Walker. No one knows who the Jaguars will pick at number one, but if we're guessing, it could be Trayvon Walker. He possesses a rare blend of strength, explosiveness, size, athleticism, and flexibility. Lined up as the edge, Walker took snaps all over the defensive front and defended the edge as a stand-up rusher. He's explosive and a fluid mover in space. He's done his bit to offer himself as the best option for the Jaguars and certainly feels that he could be the first pick. That kind of confidence can't be bad, especially after the performances he put in for Georgia. If his full potential is unlocked, he'd be a steal at number one as well. And now, Aiden Hutchinson. Well, there's no surprises here. Although, it's quite close between Walker and Hutchinson for the number one spot at the moment, Hutchinson just about edges it for us, especially if he makes the move to the Jaguars. There's no reason to believe that Hutchinson won't be making an instant impact for them and will have the best chance of winning the Defensive Rookie of the Year. He's the highest graded edge defender in college football and has more than one way of winning after possessing a dynamic blend of power and quicks. A complete edge defender, Hutchinson excels against both run and pass. He's pro ready, but are the Jaguars. That's a wrap for this video. Did we miss any NFL rookie that deserves to be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!